welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look someone is sick to their stomach over how much others love you it don't make sense right <laughs> somebody please make it make sense like what does the, how the fact that others love you have to do with them they are totally invested in you. They are totally invested in the ways in which other people are invested in you. They're sick to their stomach over the fact that other people love you. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Like, it's because they, they want that. They want that too. They don't have that. They don't have people loving on them the ways in which they see firsthand. They see it. They see it, the ways that people love on you, the ways that people honor you, the ways that people value you, the ways that people treat you, the ways that people talk to you. They're sick to their stomach over that because they don't get that too. And it's something that they want. It's something that they have been yearning for a long time, all of their life, for real, for real. It's something that they desperately have to put out there to get in return like it's something that they don't get naturally that the admiration the love that you get it does not come naturally to them people do not respond to them in the ways in which they respond to you and this is why they're sick to their stomach over it because it's a dream of theirs it's something that they've always inspired to have and they just don't get it naturally and they see you getting that they see you getting that attention naturally and it has them bothered someone is really bothered over the way that people love you they can't stand it they can't stand you <laughs> they can't stand you because of all of this attention that you get and you don't even have to do anything that's the thing when they do it, they have to put themselves out there. They have to want it. They have to manifest it. But you you get all of this stuff just by being you. All of these things come naturally just by being you. That makes them sick. They're sick and tired, to be exact, okay? They're sick and tired of the ways that other love you, others love you. Someone's sick to their stomach over the fact that other people love you. They would rather them not because they haven't expressed that same type of love to you. They don't like to see your relationships going good. When they see people saying good things about you, when they see people liking you, this is why they want to try to find a way to get those people to go against you, to get those people to see something negative in you. This is why they may bring up certain things or throw little side um, slick shots with hopes that others can feel a different type of way about you. They want to mold the ways in which they want to shape, they want to control the ways in which other people feel about you. Because they see that it's all love in your relationships. They see the admiration. They see the inspiration. They see the realness. They see the truth. They see the rawness. And that's something that they don't know how to do. That's something that they don't have. They are sick to their stomach about this. Because they do everything in their power, including the stuff that you do, to try to get like that, to try to be like you, to try to get those same type of interactions, to have those same type of relations with people. And it just ain't happening for them. They're tired. They're tired of playing the game of trying to be better, to try to be on your level. Energetically, though, they want what you got on an energetic level. They want your energy field. They want an aura that's like yours. They want a soul that's like yours. They want them things that money can't buy. They want all of that. And they're sick to their stomach because... They've tried hard and hard and like they, they, they have to put in so much work to get half of the things that you have gotten, to experience half of the things that you have experienced 
effortlessly though things that you don't even focus on things that just come to you just by being you experiences that are given to you people love you and they know it they know it this is why they like to bring your name up in a conversation and they like to say things they want to get people's reactions they actually want to try to manipulate them into saying something negative about you they want them to think differently about you they don't want them to have all that love in their heart for you they don't want them to have the doors open for you they don't want them to have a space in their heart for you they don't it really bothers them why are they so bothered somebody please tell me <laughs> somebody please tell me why are they so bothered why not just focus on them? Because they don't know how. They don't know how. And a lot of them, they don't know what love is for real. They don't know how to love for real. So when they're seeking this love that they don't know how to give, not even to themselves, the results that they're getting in return, they're not satisfied with it. And they're sitting in there watching you and they're seeing that you are satisfied with the love that people give you. That you aren't needy when it comes to the ways in which people love you. And they're tr trying to figure out, well, why can't they be like that too? Why can't they just accept the love that is given to them as well? Why can't it be enough? Nothing is never enough for them. But that's because they're not content on the inside. You've put in so much inner work. And you continue to put in that inner work. And this is why you attract high vibrational beings. This is why you attract high vibrational experiences. But they didn't hear that though. They, they turned a blind eye to that. They turned a blind eye to all of the things that you had to do to get to where you at today. All of the sacrifices that you had to make. All of the pain and the hardship. And all of the love and all of the beautiful things as well. Someone is sick to their stomach over how others love you. They only wish and hope that they could have that for themselves. And because they see you having it, they would like to really take it from you. They would like to devalue your experience. They would like for your experience to go bad. They're hoping and praying on your downfall. They're hoping and praying that people feel a type of way about you and not in a good way. They hope that people see every worst way that you have within you. All of your worst um, characteristics. Like they, they hope that people see the worst in you. That's what they hope. <laughs> so that you can no longer outshine them. They feel as if you outshine them just by being you. They feel as if you outshine them just by the ways in which others love on you the ways in which others admire you they see your light shining bright it's irritating their demons it is so they want to dim your light they have hopes of dimming your light because they think that that's going to make them shine a little brighter not knowing that they still dark they still as dark as they once was. It didn't make them no better. And it didn't make them feel any better. And this is why they're confused. They're trying to figure out like all of these things that they're doing to dim your light, to try to outshine you, to one up you. Why does that not make them feel better? Why do they not feel content after that? Why do they feel like they got to keep doing more? Someone is tight, okay? <laughs> They are upset over the ways in which others love you. And I don't blame them. I mean, look look who it is. It's you. It's you, okay? Anybody else cool, but it's you. Because, yes, you be really out here affecting people on an energetic level. Yes, you do. And it's in a good way. 
So they can't. The moral of the story is they can't get like you. Okay, they can't get like you. They see you shining bright, and they want to dim your light, but it's impossible. So somebody tell them to throw on the towel. Okay, please, somebody tell them to, to, to throw on the towel because it ain't happening. <laughs> it is not happening. So look, if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. And if you are not a member on this channel already, I do invite you to become a member because I do have some member-only content coming soon, okay? We're not holding back. We're not, like, we want to do something special for the members, for the Soul Tribe. So I invite you to become a member on this channel. And if you have not already gotten your $300 from Chase and your $100 from Chime, then what you waiting on? You must already got an account with them. I'm thinking that's what it is. Is that or you not in the United States? But look, I am working. Um, I, I do not have an, a, a definite yes, but I am working on something for those who are outside of the United States. Because one thing that we all have in common is that we like to have some money, okay? Because we need to take care of ourselves and we like to do things for ourselves. So that is all I have for this video. Click that link down in my description. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.